Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be looking at some missing number word problems. We're going to have to read the word problems very carefully. And we're going to have to use the strategy of counting on using a number line to help us solve these problems. What do I mean by counting on? Well, let's say we were trying to solve the problem seven plus blank equals 10. How do we know what goes in the blank? Well, we can use a number line. Let's set up our number line from one to 10. If we started at seven, how many numbers do we have to count on to get till 10? Well, let's count together. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. How many jumps is that? That's one, two, three. So it took us three times, or adding three plus seven to get to 10. So the missing number is three, and that makes a good number sentence, seven plus three equals 10. Let's use this counting on strategy to help us solve these word problems. Let's read the directions, get started right away. Solving problems with number lines. Read the problem, use the number line to count on and find the solution. Check the correct answer. Problem one. Mary went on a 14 day trip to a summer camp. She has been at the summer camp for eight days. How many more days is Mary going to stay at the summer camp? Okay, in this problem we know Mary has been at the summer camp for eight days. We don't know how many more days she's going to stay at the summer camp, but we do know she has been there for a total of 14 days. Let's use our number line to help us count on and figure out how many days are left in Mary's trip. So we'll be counting from eight up to 14. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, let's just count how many jumps that took us. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer or the missing number is six. Go ahead and check the correct answer and write that in. We can add eight plus six by counting up and see that the correct answer is 14. Let's take a look at our second example. Mike is playing a video game. He's got 13 points. He needs a total of 20 points to get to the next level. How many more points does Mike need? Again, we have the number sentence, 13 points that he already has plus an unknown number of points to get to 20 points, or our answer, so that Mike can get to the next level. We can use our number line and count on starting at 13 all the way to 20, and we'll see how many numbers are in between 13 and 20, which will tell us the missing number. So let's count from 13 to 20. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. How many jumps or how many numbers are in between 13 and 20? Let's count them one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And if we input seven into our equation and added 13 plus seven, we would get 20. So that's a good number sentence. Let's go ahead and check the number seven is our correct answer. Remember boys and girls, even if you don't have a number line made, you can make one too. Start at the first number and count to the answer. The numbers that it takes you to get to the last number or your answer is the missing part in your equation. Thanks for watching boys and girls and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.